my name is James Weems. I'm from the United States and I have lived in China for almost 15 years right now. I started out in Beijing where I did my master degree or MBA at Tsinghua University. I first moved to Chongqing March 2014, so it's already been seven plus years. Uh, when I first moved here, Chongqing, you know, it was a, a fast growing city and it still is growing. Uh, for me, Chongqing is a very dynamic, exciting city to live in. If you like nature, Chongqing is one of the best cities in the world, I think. You know, you're right downtown next to the rivers, mountains, you can go hiking. Uh, if you like cycling, uh, some of the greatest mountain biking in China that I think exists here in Chongqing. When I first came to China, it was 2006. Within 15 years, I've seen so much growth on China's disposable income, uh, but not just you know, the consumer growth and whatnot, you also see the, uh, the, the amazing public infrastructure of China. I always explain to my family and my friends back at home, it's incredible to be in China and actually see that during that time. I think a lot of people who, are, who have not been in China, they just only get to read the highlights on the newspaper. But if you've actually been here, you see it and you feel it firsthand. I just think it's going to be probably one of my most memorable experiences in life. So my father came to Chongqing to attend my wedding a couple years ago, and he had never been to Southwest China. He also wanted to see the panda bears out in Chengdu. He was wondering how he's going to get there. So I take him on a high-speed train. It only takes one hour. He's impressed. He's never been on a train that fast. At that point. Realize China's development has happened. China is having dialogues and conferences with different countries, and that I think when I see that, I realize China is making uh, big leaps and progress in, in building that understanding. Because communication is the number one key. If, if you don't have communication between two countries or people from two different countries, you're never going to develop that understanding. And so you see what's happening. Belt and Road. I hope that uh, the CPC continues to come out with good policies that help uh, people's living standards. But also, you know, recently in the five-year plan, I was really excited to see that the CPC is also focused on improving the environment. Uh, and I think that's something I'm really excited about. I think the CPC can work with other countries uh, to build you know, a more healthy world where the environment's better, uh, hopefully combat problems and challenges such as global